Hi my darlings, welcome back to my channel. Who's ready to party? Hi my darlings, if you are new here, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell right next to it. That way you get notified every time that I upload a new video. Okay my darlings, so on today's video, we are going to be doing um, like beach curls on how to do like beach curls. So this is kind of be like the way I do my beach curls to make them like, like look curly and wavy. So yeah, so let's get started with this video. Okay, my darlings, so I'm obviously in the restroom and have you noticed now I did add like a little bit of decor kind of. So I added like this little frame back here. It's so cute. It has like glitter and it has like a little sink in it and stuff. But yeah, I just thought it was so cute and then it has like a little chandelier right there. But yeah, so I added a little bit of decor to my background. And obviously, if you see, my hair is also dyed. So I also dyed it um, kind of like a brown black kind of. But it ends up looking more black than brown, to be honest. So, but it's fine. I like it. So, okay, my darlings. So we're going to get started. And what I'm going to be using for the curls is going to be this one. Um, it is the Bedhead TG Wave Artist Curl. So I'm going to be using this for the curls. Obviously it is locked, so I'm gonna unlock it right now. There we go. Okay, and then I do know that this one does go up to like 450, so I'm just gonna turn it up. Maybe like in between, like 4, 425 or 375 within that range, but of course do the, the one for your hair because there's different types, like there's you know thick hair, thin hair, curly. So for mine, since I have like very thick hair, I have to use like a little bit more heat. So yeah, so let's get started. And so what I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using like these clips right here to kind of clip my hair and stuff. And then I'm gonna use a brush or a comb or whatever you have. I know I have this ugly busted old yellow comb <laughs> that I should probably get a new one, but it's, it's here. It's the one I use. And yeah, so I'm going to start right here. So what I like to do, I like to do kind of like start it off like this. Like I cut it down like in the middle kind of like this. And then just kind of do the bottom like that. So I kind of just grab this top and then just kind of get it out of the way like this. And then I use a clip like that. So like this, so I kind of just use the bottom first and then I split this in half like that. And of course you do have to like comb it out first before you like curl it or anything. So I like to like brush it first. Same thing on this side. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to grab some. And it, what I do for the bottom is I kind of start off like right here and I kind of leave the bottom because I want it to have like a little bit more volume to it. So I basically just grab it like this and then just like hold it for a little bit. And you know, these clamps are also do, um, they're done by ceramic. So of course it's like much better for your hair and stuff. So yeah, just hold it for a couple seconds and then just like make sure it gets done and then just let it go so it's kind of gonna be like wavy like this you see it's like already doing it so you can kind of see the difference between this one and that one like that one's a lot more like prettier and stuff so yeah that's kind of what i do so i'm just going to continue with the bottom here so yeah kind of start off kind of at the bottom a little bit and then like that so just like a few seconds, not too long. You don't want to like burnt your hair off. So just a little bit. Okay, there we go. So like that. So yeah, just kind of continue the whole bottom like this and it's gonna end up looking like that. So you can already like clearly see a difference already. So I'm gonna be doing that. And the same thing. Yeah, and I feel like the bottom kind of doesn't really like 
matter as much because it's gonna like all the other hair is gonna fall on top but still it's still looking like really really good you can see like the difference so yeah you basically just do that all throughout the hair so I'm gonna continue on so yeah I'm kind of continuing on to the middle now so I'm right here and also for the middle I kind of do start like kind of like two inches away from the scalp and I think only because all the other hair on top is going to like cover it. So it's kind of like, uh, it doesn't really matter either. <laughs> so I feel like with when I'm doing this, uh, like beach curls, or like clamping the head, or, or what is it, cramping the hair, um, I like to just focus on the top mainly because I feel like the bottom doesn't really matter, or like the middle, because, you know, it's not really like that visible. They just kind of see like the bottom half, so... I kind of save some time a little bit by just doing like that that side of the hair like mostly focused on versus doing like the whole thing and then just like it doesn't even like matter <laughs> like the bottom and stuff so but still it still curls really nice like it still like looks really really good so you know it's still looking good then I'm moving on here to the top right here just gonna focus on this side now so I think this is like the main part is the top I think this is where we really have to focus on it and stuff so this one I kind of do it a little closer to the scalp <clears throat> so yeah I just kind of move a little bit down through each section like this like that perfect I really like how it's coming out like I really like this like clamp curl and I think it works with almost all hair types because I feel like if you already have like curly hair sometimes you don't want to do like just your natural curls you kind of just want like wavy curls so I feel like this is a really good way to get it like a really good, a <laughs> really good, <laughs> a really good like wave in versus like the actual curls, you know. So I really like doing this style. I'm just going to do this halfway out also. And I think with the tiny hairs, I don't like take them too long, last too long on them either, because that might like, you know, damage it. So I'm going to continue on this side. And I like to brush it out sometimes too. Well, you know, all the time, because then the curls might look a little weird if you don't. Yeah, so I think the top is kind of like the main focus. So I always try to like take a little bit more time on those. But overall, it's pretty quick, you know, it takes me about like, what is it, 25 minutes or so. So yeah, I think these are just kind of laying on top like that. Yeah, they look a little different, I guess, because I have short layers, but it's okay. It'll make my hair look fuller and stuff. Yeah, so it's kind of like an idea of what it's looking like. So it's kind of like wavy instead of curls like that. So I'm going to continue on. Okay, so I'm continuing on this side with the top. I kind of feel like a hair. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to continue on this side with the top and stuff. And then, so it would almost be done. I have to complete this side. But so far, it's looking really, really good. So I don't know if it's because of my short layers, but it looks like more voluminous. <laughs> like I have more volume or something. So yeah, it's coming out really, really good. And what I like is that this tool is not really that expensive, you know, so it's like a really good affordable tool that you can like actually, you know, get and stuff without spending like, you know, a lot of money on it, you know, and it gets the job done and stuff. So it's not really like, you know, expensive. Okay, I'm gonna keep 
Okay, there we go. So I guess now do you just kind of have to frame your hair or just leave it all loose like this. But so far, I really like how I came out. Wow. Okay. So yeah, this is kind of like what it would look like. So it's like all wavy and stuff. And let me see. Okay, there we go. Don't want to like burn the table or something. <laughs> but yeah, these are like the final results using the cramp bed head on here. So it's like looking really, really nice. So yeah, this is how I achieved my uh, beach curls. So I think it looks really, really nice. Show you guys the back. But yeah, it looks like I went to a hair salon and got it done, but not really. It was all me. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, I really like how it looks. And yeah, so these are the final results with the cramp bed head. And so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are new here, click on the subscribe button. That would be awesome. We'll bring more darlings to the family. Okay, my darlings, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, my darlings.